All right, is life changing a bit of an overstatement for what I'm going to be showing you today? I think not my friends and you're going to love this for mature skin. Hello everyone. So bare face today because I'm going to be showing you something that I am so excited about. And this is not anything that's new out there as far as foundation application goes, but I was perusing the internet and I went through some of my playlists, like I had a playlist that was watched later, and I found this four-year-old tutorial from Mr. Wayne Goss that has been for me absolutely life-changing as far as my foundation goes. And you are gonna not believe how simple this is, but it will actually not show up texture and it will help you use less foundation. So it's really a thin canvas on your face and it is flawless. So I'm excited to share that with you. Okay, let's start with a little bit of prep. My face is completely moisturized and I do have my SPF on and I've let that sink in for a while. Now, if after I do that, cause I use a lot of moisture because my skin is super dry. If after I do that, I find that I might have a few spots that feel a little bit oily or something, I'll just take a tissue and I will go into, especially around my nose and the chin crease and up through the T-zone. That can really be a little bit problematic for me. So you're gonna do that and then you're going to go in with a, with a primer if you choose. You don't have to do a primer for this particular foundation routine. And I think that's the beauty of it. And I was so excited when I saw Wayne do this, and this is probably the sixth time I've done this, so it works. And I am not going to be using a lot of primer. I'm just going to put it on my big pores that are on my chin and on my nose and then on my forehead and a tiny bit through the cheek area where I have so much texture. And I'm really pressing that in, but like I said, I'm not using a lot. I'm using a very minimal amount. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is use my color corrector. This is the Charlotte Tilbury color corrector, and I love it. By the way, did I tell you that this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer? It's one of my favorites. Just helps with pores a lot. And then the Charlotte Tilbury corrector, and this one is in the one that is, I think, medium light. And then I'm just going to put that around underneath my eyes. And again, you're kind of using a minimal amount. You don't need to go in with a ton, but make sure your darkness is covered, and that really does help. Help. and then make sure when you go back over it to just kind of pat it with a different finger or a different part of your sponge or if you use a sponge and just get any excess up because we don't want a lot of things built up on our skin before we go in with this. Now I'm going to turn the light down just a tiny bit so you can see something. If you can see, I have a lot of spots through here. The lights kind of blur that, but I have a lot of spots and they're really hard to cover, especially through my cheeks and right here on my old acne scars. They're really hard to cover and I do have one age spot right there. So I'm going to turn the light back up just a little bit. So this is basically just doing things in reverse. So you did your primer and your color corrector that's normal but we're going to go in with powder and like i said this is not new but this is something for me as a mature woman has made a huge difference hi ollie say hi say good morning good morning how are you so i'm going to load my brush with powder not a ton you know just just a coating of it and i'm going to put this all over my face completely all over my face every spot that foundation normally touches. And I'm going to set that under eye area, which I hardly ever use powder on, I'm going to set down that color corrector. Now, if you have a powder that has a little bit of a tint in it, that's a good tone for your skin, feel free to use that because it's going to even give you a little bit more coverage. And I will make sure that I link Mr. Goss's video below because he just does it so quick and so easy, but I like to talk a little bit more than he does. So maybe <laughs> you'll get something more out of his. But anyway, I'm really kind of just dusting across. There wasn't very much on my powder brush and just making sure that everywhere has a little bit of powder on it. Now you can see that that kind of mattified my face a little bit. That's a good thing. So now I'm going in, I don't normally use a brush. I normally use my um, sponge, my Dampen Beauty sponge, but the, I found that this brush works really good for it. This is a BK Beauty brush, and I think it's the 101. And then that pow powder brush that you just saw, I'll make sure I link that below. It's an it brush. And I love this thing, I've had it forever. And I'm 
I'm using the new Bare Minerals Original uh, Liquid Mineral Foundation. And this does have an SPF of 20 in it. And my color is fairly medium. It's an okay color. It's not a great color. But what's really cool about this is when I first got this, I didn't like it because it didn't cover up any of these areas that I was just talking about. So using this technique, I get to use less foundation and it covers better. And that's really great for me. So I just put a little drop, a couple drops on my brush right there. And then I go ahead and I start kind of moving it around the face, just like a normal application of foundation with the brush. But what this is going to do is it's going to cover so beautifully. When I first started doing this, I was so blown away. I was just could not believe how beautiful this is. And you just use so much less than you do if you actually just started out with your foundation first instead of that powder. And as you need to just put a couple little dots in there and I'm not using very much at all, so you know. I know that the brush will give you a little bit better coverage than a sponge, but not this much. I mean, I do realize that brushes do have a tendency to give you better coverage, but I was surprised on how well this did. Now, I, did you see me just go underneath my eyes right there? I'm not gonna be wearing concealer, which is a huge deal for me. I'm just going to be wearing the foundation. And the other thing that that does that should just absolutely surprised me is when you don't do that, then you have no creasing and you have great coverage without concealer. You also get this really great effect of just having the one color instead of another color for your concealer. It's amazing. So this is another three little dots and I'm going to go into these stubborn areas of mine, which is right here around my redness on my cheeks. And I'm just gonna kind of um, stipple that in. And then I'm going to go through those areas over here on my cheeks that I was having the same problem with. Now, what's beautiful about this is it's immediately going to start to self set, which is great. You don't have to go in with powder if you are a dry gal. Now, if you are an oily gal and you do get a lot of breakthrough on your foundation, go ahead and do another light dusting of powder. I only get a little bit of breakthrough through this area, but I am going to put just a tiny bit of powder through this area right here because it will help to blur it and make it look more perfected. And you don't have to do this. That's the wonderful thing about it. You don't have to use any powder at all. If you're somebody that finds that powder really doesn't help you very much, or you know you feel like you get kind of a cakey look from it, then you don't have to do this at all. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match uh, powder, by the way. I really love this one. Mine's in the color N1, so neutral one. Um, it's the lightest, I'm sure, that they have that's neutral. I will say that this isn't mask proof because I did wear this to the grocery store one day, and it, you know, Know, it rubs off and so that's not something that you're gonna look at like is this an all-day bulletproof makeup foundation routine it's not but for what I need it is fabulous and so I'm gonna spray this with the airbrush flawless setting spray uh, party all night stay all day <laughs> setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury and, and then I'm gonna go over with my makeup sponge and just kind of dab that in a little bit and one thing that I am going to do that um, Wayne didn't do, he didn't do the setting spray part either. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit onto my sponge on the tip, and I'm gonna ever so lightly go across underneath my eyes so that there's absolutely no creasing at all throughout the day, so that it can be completely set. I just found that this setting spray is pretty special. I have been looking and looking for a dupe, but this is a really good setting spray. It has polymers in it that do create a little bit of a blurring effect on your face, and it really does set your makeup all day so that you have it and it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna budge anywhere. Let me go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so there's the finished look of this tutorial. Now, keep in mind that this is not going to completely cover everything. I want to make sure I tell you that. You're not going to get like a look of makeup. You're actually going to get a look of your own skin, but kind of perfected. And I'm going to turn these lights down again. Now remember the um, the really nasty stuff I right, had right here? You might need to take your brush as you're working with it and just dot like this or stipple like this over it just on those places like right here through my really redness right through there. And another thing, you can see hopefully that my eye under eye area is not, it's not like 
it's not like completely gone away. It's there's a little bit there, but it's not bad at all. Now let me turn that light back up. So what I want to do more than anything to take away from this tutorial is that this gives a skin like finish and it is really nice for mature skin it's and not cakey at all because you're only using a very thin coat coat and you're only using a very fraction of what you normally use because you get that coverage from that powder to begin with i don't know how it happens but honestly it's just like magic for me this wears so beautifully through the day too the other thing that you need to realize is that because this is such a thin coat on here that you really need to pay attention to it either with the powder if you like to wear powder or with that setting spray. You might need to do a couple coats. This might take a little bit of trial and error before you get down to where you really like it, like I've been doing. Like I did it for three three days in a row, and the first two days I loved it, but I was noticing, you know, a little bit of creasing under here. Sometimes there was a little bit of creasing around my nose and on my chin, and I was thinking, okay, well, maybe it's the foundation. Maybe it doesn't hold up, but I've switched foundations so many times, and it's just done beautiful. I'm just really excited to be able to share it with you and like i said trial and error you might need more powder you might need less you might need less product through here you might even choose to do a concealer through this area which is perfectly fine it's just really up to what your skin does and how you feel after you've tried it a couple of times but really give it a good go because i believe that this is something that a mature woman can wear that makes her look much more perfected. And I have loved Mr. Wayne Goss and what he's doing right now with helping mature women and bringing mature women to the forefront. Did you guys see that lady that had that smoky eye? I swear I was just like blown away and so excited for what he was doing and what he is promoting as far as the beauty world. So everybody have a great day. Love you so very much. Take care of yourselves. Catch you in my next video. Bye friends. <music>